Britain's coastal areas are home to some of the most deprived towns in the country. By some estimates, these areas are 23% poorer than places inland. And they've been some of the hardest hit by the pandemic because many coastal economies rely heavily on tourism and hospitality. To improve these geographic inequalities, the government is creating eight so-called free ports with low tax zones. But will they be able to answer to levelling up Britain? Natalie Powell finds out. The town of Hastings is ranked the 13th most deprived area in England. Like many coastal towns, it's suffered from poor transport infrastructure and a decline in core industries like fishing and tourism. But since 2014, community organisations have been raising funds to regenerate some neighbourhoods. So we're trying to bring these buildings out of dereliction, but make sure that they don't suddenly just become completely unaffordable to local people and that there's leisure opportunities for everyone. This completed complex consists of six affordable homes and 40 commercial spaces for small businesses. And next door is the latest project, a building that's been empty for 35 years. Whether it's residential or commercial, uh, all of our spaces are capped rents and it's usually at approximately the th a third of a local median income. And we only have a rise with inflation if we have to. Um, and that's just to cover the costs of running the building so they can run themselves. Since Prime Minister Boris Johnson's election win in 2019, the government has promised to level up parts of the country that have fallen behind. And one way it intends to do that in coastal areas is by introducing eight free ports. Free ports are areas close to a port where customs and taxes are suspended. That means a factory built within a free port can process goods without paying tariffs on them and turn these goods into something more valuable that can be released inland or re-exported. Now this area is to become the Thames Free Port. The team behind the scheme says it will attract more than $6 billion of private and public investment, create over 25,000 jobs and provide development opportunities for riverside communities in need of regeneration. This is one of the most deprived areas in the UK, so we really want to make sure that the community prosper and benefit from the investment which is going on that facilitates the trade flows that we're already handling and the new trade flows we expect to get. But the UK major ports group says free ports alone will not solve issues of coastal deprivation. Whilst free ports are a really important part of the strategy for levelling up our coastal communities, they are not themselves the silver bullet. There are many more um, communities that would benefit from incentives to invest than just the eight free ports locations. Back in Hastings, those involved in community-led projects believe it's local involvement and engagement that will be key to turning the tide for coastal towns. Natalie Powell, TRT World, Tilbury.